Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I'm here to show you a new fun fold that I was inspired by on the internet. Let me show you what we're going to make. Basically it's a regular card size and then we're going to add another piece on it to make the flaps. This is what I call the slim trifold. On this card I use the Splendid Autumn Suite and the Autumn Expressions Bundle with um, little glass dots that we have right here and those are the really cute accessories that come with this suite. I used the Splendid Autumn Designer Series paper and that's how I got this beautiful look of the painted like scenery in the background. I also used the dies. One thing fun about this die, it's actually for a purse. I'm not using it as a purse, I'm actually just going to cut out this part right here. So before we get started with putting the assemble, I just want to give you a tip on this. When you stamp this to actually get this part, I'm going to stamp it first and I'm going to hold my die right here and then stamp it. So I know I'm going to get it inside. If you notice with this die, there are two separate sizes. This is smaller and this is bigger. So you can decide what saying you want in this and what, which one will fit. So I like to use the bigger one and that's what I used on this one. Let me go ahead and put one together. This is the template to make the card. And really out of one piece of cardstock, you can make this card. The eight and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock scored at four and a quarter and five and a quarter and the adhesive goes right here and I like to use the sticky strip on this because it really holds it together. Then the second piece is six and a half by five and a half scored at three and a quarter and sticky strip right here. I'm going to go ahead and put one of these together so you can see how it is done. This is the basic of the template which is the first piece. It's scored at four and a quarter and five and a fourth. I put this sticky strip here so let's go ahead take that off and fold it over and that becomes your slim card on the inside. Okay so that's the main part of the card. Now I'm going to put the other part of the card together. This is the six and a half by five and a half with the sticky strip on this side. So let me take the sticky strip off. And this is the other part of the tri fold that you have. And I really love using this sticky strip because it's so simple. So I'm going to flip this down. This is the back side of the card. And I want to line it up with the score line. So it's not right on top of it, but it's right to the left of that score line so it folds really nicely. Okay, so we've got our trifold. One, two, three. This will fold in and this will fold on top. Then you can, after it's all folded, you can go ahead and burnish it again to make sure that it's really nicely scored on all those pieces. Okay, so that's the cardstock part. Now we're going to decorate it. This is Crush Curry and Highland Heather that I'm using. This piece is four by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to stick this one on top too as our interest for our designer series paper for the front of the card. This is three and three fourths by five. And that will just go in a quarter of an inch smaller than the lavender piece. So let's open the inside. Okay, I have these pieces right here. Now when I cut this piece, if you want to look right here, that's the six by six. So this is three inch and this is three inch by five and a quarter. So those are going to go in both those spaces. So let me go ahead and hear those down. So that's going to go on the left side of this and it will get a quarter of an inch frame all the way around. And this basically fits on this side but we're going to have a gap in the middle of where we stamp something as a sentiment. So we have that. Okay, now the inside piece. The only difference from these pieces that I've cut basically is we're going to cut this size three and a quarter by five and a quarter because if you look at it, if it was all the way in like that, it would be too much of a gap. So I know I'm kind of obsessed about getting it all the same. So this is the piece I'm going to stamp on. 
Now in the one that I did stamp on, if you want to look at it, that's the same thing. It goes from here to here. So that's the inside. So let me go ahead and put that in. Imagine that I stamped on it. I just want to show you how to put this card together so you understand how the fold goes. That's where we have that. Now let's fold this back right here. This piece is going to go right here. Now we can either decide if we want to do that side or if we want to make it less busy. I think I want to do Highland Heather side of the paper. This is a three by five and a quarter. So there's the inside of the slim trifold card. The fun thing about this card is it looks like a normal card from the front, but then you open it and it's a surprise. It's got all that color and it's really fun to use your designer series paper, especially the ones that have scenery because it creates a picture on the inside. Let me show you some of the other ones that I've done that do the same thing. So I love this one. Look on the inside, the birds. And I use the designer series paper from that suite. Here's another one that I just use the designer series paper and the colors that are in the paper and the stamps. I love it. I love how it all coordinates with those hues. You're the best kind of person. Look how cool with that yellow. Hope you've enjoyed learning this new fun fold, the slim trifold card. For more detailed instructions on this card, there will be a blog post. Click the link below. And I hope you've enjoyed our Watch It Weekly Wednesday. We'll see you next time.